This is a guide to custom rhythm, the newest feature now available in version 3.0 of Demo. In one of our most advanced updates, you can now edit and fully customize any rhythm as well as create your own presets, which will dynamically adapt to any progression you create. Here's how it works. Within a song, open chords and select any progression. In order to use this feature, you will need to have at least one progression populated with chords. Let's start with the preset to keep it simple. Next, tap Rhythm. From here, you have two options. One, you can edit an existing rhythm preset by tapping the Edit Pencil, an option also available within Remix, or two, you can build a new rhythm from scratch by going directly to Custom. Let's start by editing a preset to walk through the basic functionality. When editing a preset, you'll notice the app automatically maps the rhythm across your progression no matter the chord shape or timing. Across the bottom, you have the option to select which instrument you'd like to edit, or you can turn them on and off. Let's start with keys for now. From here, you can move notes as needed by simply dragging. The app snaps to grid by default, but you can long press for more precise dragging. Then, if you tap on any note, you have the option to adjust the volume, delete, or duplicate. If you select duplicate, then you tap where you'd like the note to duplicate. You can simply double tap a note to delete if you like. If you'd like to edit multiple notes at once, tap the Select option in the bottom left, which enables you to draw a square to multi-select. You'll notice the grid itself is unique, as it reflects specifically the notes in your chord, then it automatically updates as you approach the next chord in your progression, adding notes as necessary. This way, everything you create maps exactly to your chosen chords, eliminating any guesswork and allowing for universal usage of your edits or creation. More on that later. This is true of keys, guitar, and bass, but our drum tones won't change with the chords, so you'll notice their labeling to be a little different. Here's a quick guide. LK is low kick, K is kick, S1 is snare one, S2 is snare two, HHC is hi-hat closed, HHO is hi-hat open, CL is clap, LT is low tom, HT is high tom, C is crash, R is ride, P1 is Percussion 1, and P2 is Percussion 2. By default, the timing of the grid divides into eighth notes. However, you can zoom in to triplets or sixteenth notes, or zoom out to quarter, half, and whole notes. Then, any changes within the editor can be undone, redone, or reverted back to the original rhythm. Once you have the rhythm edited to your liking, you can simply confirm the changes by pressing the check and go back to building your progressions, or you can save it as your own edited preset that you can then use across other progressions. The rhythm will automatically loop and map itself to any progression you create. All right, now let's start in custom and build something from scratch so you can see some even more advanced features. The custom rhythm editor functions a lot like a sequencer in that everything can be looped, but it will adapt to your selected chords and progressions. By default, you're given one looping measure so you can get started quickly and with ease. Let's add a few notes to our rhythm to see what that means. Notice how the app repeats that pattern but automatically adapts to the changing chords. Then, if you'd like to see exactly how that rhythm will look on each loop, you can just tap through the pages of your chord progression here and make edits as necessary. But if one measure isn't enough, you can always add more by tapping the plus button. Then the app gives you the option to duplicate your previous measure so you aren't having to build from scratch if you only want to make small changes. Or if you decide to shorten the loop, you can simply drag this tool in the top corner to your desired length. This button here turns on and off what we call dynamic chord change, which is a subtle but powerful tool to streamline your process, especially if you're looking to use a preset across different progressions. What if your progression changes chords, but your rhythm is holding notes from a previous chord across that change? By turning this on, the app will detect the design of your rhythm and automatically create a natural transition matching the style of your rhythm, so your rhythm will become truly universal no matter the timing of your chords. Here's how that sounds. Even though the note holds here, the app writes a change matching your progression so the chord isn't missed. All right, let's save that as a preset and try it on some other progressions. And that's custom rhythms. 
Once again, we have to say thank you so much for supporting this app. We couldn't keep adding features like this without you. Happy writing.